Semiglutide, better known as Ozempic or Regovi, has taken over the weight loss and diabetes world. But what if I told you that its impact goes beyond just shedding pounds? I dug through every clinical trial, from FDA approvals to ongoing research, so you don't have to. And what I found, it's not just a weight loss drug, it is something way bigger. How does it work? To understand why semiglutide is so powerful, you need to know what GLP-1 is. This hormone called glucagon-like peptide 1 is naturally released by your gut after you eat. It tells your pancreas to pump out insulin while simultaneously slowing digestion and reducing appetite. The result? You feel fuller for longer, your blood sugar stays stable, and your body becomes more efficient at using energy. But here's the problem. People with type 2 diabetes or obesity often have impaired GLP-1 signaling. Their bodies don't produce enough, leading to higher blood sugar levels, constant hunger, and weight gain. That's where semiglutide comes in. Semiglutide mimics GLP-1 but with major upgrades. It lasts much longer in your body than the natural hormone, supercharging your insulin response, keeping you full for hours, and even changing how your brain perceives hunger. Therefore, not only does it help lower blood sugar, but it also directly suppresses appetite, making it a game changer for weight loss. When the FDA first approved the Zempic for type 2 diabetes, it wasn't based on guesswork. It was backed by 7 clinical trials with over 4,000 participants. These studies show that semiglutide drastically lowered HbA1c levels, the key marker of long-term blood sugar control. But here's where it gets interesting. One of the biggest concerns for people with diabetes isn't just blood sugar. It's heart disease. Therefore, researchers ran another study with 3,297 participants at high cardiovascular risk. And the results were shocking. Semiglutide didn't just help with diabetes, it also lowered the risk of heart attacks and strokes. The weight loss revolution, what the trials actually show. If you've seen celebrities and influencers talking about Ozempic for weight loss, you might think it's just a social media trend. But the research says otherwise. In a 68-week clinical trial with nearly 2,000 adults, those who took semiglutide lost an average of 14.9% of their body weight. That's not just a few pounds. That's life-changing for people struggling with obesity. But here's the kicker. Scientists thought, what if we increase the dose? Therefore, they tested a 7.2 mg weekly injection instead of the usual 2.4 mg. And the results? Participants lost a staggering 20.7% of their body weight over 72 weeks. That's almost double what you see with most traditional weight loss drugs. There's also some unexpected benefits. Weight loss and diabetes control are impressive enough. But what's even crazier is what researchers are finding in new studies. The FDA recently approved semiglutide to reduce heart attack and stroke risk in obese individuals, not just diabetics. That means it's officially recognized as a cardiovascular drug. But scientists aren't stopping there. They're now asking, could semiglutide help with Alzheimer's disease? Some early studies suggest that GOP-1 drugs like semiglutide might slow cognitive decline. Therefore, clinical trials are underway to see if this weight loss drug could also protect the brain. Of course, no drug is perfect. The most common side effects include nausea and vomiting, diarrhea and constipation, abdominal pain and bloating, fatigue and dizziness, injection site reactions, headaches, pancreatitis, gallbladder issues including gallstones, potential risk of thyroid tumors based on animal studies, kidney problems especially in those with pre-existing kidney disease, mental health effects. Some reports suggest that semiglutide may be linked to mood changes, depression, and suicidal thoughts. While the FDA is investigating, the direct causal link hasn't been fully established. Most of these side effects occur in early weeks of treatment and improve over time. However, rare but serious risks like pancreatitis and gallbladder disease should be monitored. Is this the future of medicine? When I started reading these trials, I thought I was just looking at a diabetes and weight loss drug, but semiglutide is turning out to be one of the most important medical breakthroughs of our time. It started as a simple GLP-1 analog, but now it's a diabetes treatment, a weight loss solution, a cardiovascular protector, and maybe even a future Alzheimer's drug. Therefore, if you're wondering why semiglutide is such a big deal, this is why. So what do you think? Is semiglutide overhyped or is it the future of medicine? Drop a comment below and let me know. Want to learn more about clinical trials? Visit theclinresearcher.com to learn how you can participate in clinical trials. As always, make sure to subscribe for the newest in clinical research and support the channel by giving the video a like, and I'll see you in one of these next videos that YouTube is recommending.